So ask us, how long have you been playing chess? Well, I've known how to play for a few years, but I only really got into it a few months ago. If you fancy a game of chess, it maybe like? it isn't best to try against Atticus. Uh, you just realised you've got me in check, haven't you? Yes. I'm on the back foot already. But then again, he has just got the highest possible score in the Mensa test. How easy did you find it? It was actually quite easy. It was just a bit tedious. <laughs> uh -huh. um, and when you, when you got the result, what did you think? Oh, I was very pleased. I didn't expect a score so high. You know. I didn't think it was real. You know, I was very pleased with myself. I didn't you know, think I'd actually get a score like that. I feel quite, you know, like proud of myself, I guess. Hold on, I can't ask questions and concentrate on chess at the same time I'm struggling a bit here. Do you mind being called a genius? I, I don't mind being called a genius. I find it quite, you know, like, oh, these people think I'm a genius, you know. It, it kind of raises my confidence, I guess. OK, so I'm going to go there. You can't go oh, there no, because of that. Ah. You've got any ambitions for what you want to do when you get older yet? Have you thought about that? Become a chess grandmaster. You heard it here first, and for Atticus's mum, who bought him the Mensa test as part of his 12th birthday present, well, she couldn't be prouder. I've always been proud of him, but now I'm just like, it's my son. <laughs> my DNA in there. <laughs> What's it like living with a child genius? It's nice to have an intellectual conversation, but it does have to revolve around chess, usually, or science, or how he's going to conquer the world, or... <laughs> We've done multiplying fractions here. Imagine sitting in a maths class with Atticus. Well, that's what his classmates have to do, and his friends aren't surprised at his success. I generally try to avoid doing chess with him because I know defeat is just inevitable. He's definitely very, very smart. And it's like, you'll think you'll have got something incredibly right, and then it'll be like, no, this is not right. Is there anything he's not good at that you know of? Um... Well, like he said earlier, uh, he can't do a cartwheel, which I can actually beat him in. Brilliant. Meanwhile, back at the intense chess match. Checkmate. Checkmate. Congratulations. Let's face it, that was always going to happen. Steve Nibbs, BBC Points West. Well done.